high-tech toys for tots. These educational devices can spark any kid's imagination. We zero in on that in today's Tech Yeah! Hey everybody, I'm John Ford. Now, from robots to Furby Booms, there are all kinds of cool tech toys for kids, but if your kid's wish list is kind of lacking in the educational department, don't fear. Plenty of options for them to enjoy and maybe learn something at the same time with us now to talk about her favorite educational gadgets for kids is Retail Me Not Senior Editor Trey Bodge. Now Trey, uh, let's start off with, I don't know, Tiggly Shapes. Um, they kind of interact with an iPod. What do they do? Why are they good for kids, you think? Well, I love this toy for the younger kids, so 18 months plus. It interacts with a number of different apps, the Tiggly apps and the shapes. You can actually create little designs. They tell stories, and they're nice and big and chunky and easy to manage for those younger hands. And it will keep them entertained for a long time. So I really love this one. It's about $30, so it's oh. really affordable as well. Okay, three apps involved, so they can do lots of different things mm -hmm. with them. Three or four apps. And so it, there's a lot of content there, so it'll keep them entertained for a long time, which is, you know, Nice. Important. That is important. Now we also have smart pajamas, which to me sounds dangerous, <laughs> but, uh, but they, they do something cool. What do they do? They really do. Uh, the smart PJs are from Brookstone, which we can always rely on for really cool, innovative toys for adults, but they also do some things for kids. And my favorite are the smart PJs. And basically all these little dots here, you'd think they're just a pattern on the PJs, but you scan them with the app, with your Android or iOS device, and they come up with one of 47 different stories. Hmm. Now the kids, if they're reading, they can follow along with the words or they can just follow along with the pictures and they scroll through. So this is a great educational interactive device, great for storing time, getting them winding down at the end of the day. Right, and if you get dessert on the dots, that could probably be a problem, so best <laughs> to put the PJs on after dessert. After dessert, after yeah. After dessert, okay. And Ubuli uh, is the last one. I saw this one at Toy Fair, kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. It kind of transforms your mobile device once you wrap a stuffed animal around your brain. It really does. I mean, what's great about this is it actually protects your device if you are giving your child access to it. Uh, you can actually use the Ubali app with a data plan free phone. So if you've upgraded and you want to give your child the other phone maybe to listen to music or play games, they can use the Ubali too. Ubali is really great because it sends your kids on all sorts of different ventures around the house. Like, let's look in the mirror and let's make faces and we're on a lake, we're rowing, we're going into the forest. What are we looking for? It keeps kids entertained for hours. It's good for kids ages three plus and it's about $30 also, so really affordable. Common thread seems to be tactile. You're not just touching a screen. It's not two-dimensional. Mm -hmm. You're actually interacting, having experience with something. Right, exactly. And it's you know it's hard to keep kids these days entertained, but also learning at the same time. So all three of these toys do that, which is why I like them so much. I like them too now. Thanks, Trey, <laughs> uh, and thanks for watching. I'm John Ford. Have a great day.